is going on everybody welcome back to the destiny 2 video today i wanted to try out the new linear fusion rifle changes to see if they're actually you know harder to use and if it is in general harder to hit shots through flinch if you guys have not already seen the twitter video uh and also haven't read about what happened or what they did to them basically Bungie changed linear fusion rifles in the sense that um it takes longer for your gun to reset when you're shooting or when you shot what that means is when someone is holding an angle and their ADS or whatever, they get shot, right? So the gun will bounce up, you know, let's say right here. Normally with linears, it would go up and then go back down pretty soon after. So that you were able to shoot through flinch really, really easily without having to try because it would basically reset for you. I don't have fastball on. So now what they did was whenever you're shooting and you're holding an angle ADSing, whatever, and you get shot takes longer for your gun to come back down to where you were aiming originally making it harder to shoot through flinch and making it not as easy to just shoot and randomly get kills basically through flinch but what they also did was i'm not sure if it was intentional or not i'm guessing it wasn't but they made it so there is a flinch cap meaning your gun can only go to a certain limit of flinch meaning that you can basically just sit there and aim at someone's ball sack and you'll get flinched to their head no matter what it will not go above their head if you are aiming at the correct spot prior but that means you have to get shot in order for it to work right but most of the time you probably will i'll put up a little video on screen right now from twitter about how the flinch works or how like the flinch cap works and it's kind of crazy to be honest like right there if i was aiming at his nuts it's a free kill but that's the only thing though it's like I don't ever aim at the body like I I try to aim at the head as much as possible and for for me it's gonna make linears a lot harder to use because of the fact that I have to pull down extremely far in order to combat flinch because of how like high I have to pull it down from so I feel like for people to be honest casual players that don't really aim at the head and don't really care and people that can do that you know without basically like missing or people can find a good spot those people are gonna be the most successful people that can already like aim at their nuts and just fucking get headshots and just shoot through flinch as they can normally and then people that are just they just don't care and they just don't care to shoot for the head and you're awarded for it so i'll probably still get shot through flinch a lot i'm getting flinched by my own fucking teammate shooting me in the ass okay that there's no way that's intentional i'm literally getting flinched insanely hard for my teammate shooting me like it's bad like, if my teammate is shooting me, not even in the head, I'm still gonna get flinched up the ass. If you shoot your teammates, they, they get flinched if you guys don't know, but like, that was bad. I think he was shooting me in the right cheek and I just couldn't hit anyone. I wonder if that's actually like, thing, because I don't think it's possible to shoot through my teammate's flinch. Oh, these kids are on fucking like, drugs. What is this? I'm just getting straight lined, like, up the ass with jug, my uh, jug titans. Look at this shit, bro. Like, Brother isn't even moving on my screen. But I mean, despite the flinch cap being a thing, let's say they made it so like you don't just get a flinch cap. I'm done, dude. There's a sniper in the fucking bag jerking off. I think it is a good update, honestly. I need to double check the rest of the stuff that got changed, but this, this video is mainly just about the linear fusions. And I feel like they did a good job. Like, I feel like there is a problem with the flinch cap thing uh, and being able to just literally aim at a certain spot and flinch will never affect you because it only goes to a certain height. Other than that, if that gets fixed, which was already acknowledged by DMG on Twitter, then I honestly think that linears are in a pretty decent spot. Cause like, I mean, I don't know. It's hard to say decent spot in this game because nothing's in a fucking decent spot. Everything is dog shit or insanely overpowered. So I'd say they're not too bad. Like it's still, they're usable if you want to use them, but they're not broken to the point where they're going to be fucking number one and number two kills all fucking day long on trials. But I don't know if uh, Lorenz is affected as bad. I don't. I prefer using Arbalest over Lorenz anyway. But I think it's just in general for both linears. Like it's the same thing regardless. The linear or the cap is the same thing. Like you just there's a cap. You shoot in the same spot. You get headshots if you get flinched to the head. But I don't know if Lorenz naturally has more flinch than Arbalest anyway. I think it does. One thing too is that. I don't know if they changed linear fusion rifle accuracy in the air. I know I saw some stuff about people saying that uh, Arbalest had perfect in air accuracy. If that's true, then I mean, I'll fucking jump in the air right now and test it, but like, we'll see. I I don't know if, if that's actually a bug or like what's going on with that, but hopefully that's just not true. I'm trying to. No one is picking me. Everyone's just getting super. 
Okay, what? Well, go where I thought where I wanted to, so hopefully not. What, is, what am I doing right now, bro? What am I doing? Uh, what is happening to me, man? Bro. Oh my, I hate this game. I hate this game. I'm gonna say it every single video for the rest of my fucking life, bro. I fucking hate this game so much. On, on levels, you cannot understand. No, you guys probably can't understand. Look at this. Do you guys see what's happening to me? Do you see what I'm talking about when I play control? Like, there is no way that someone can sit here and play this for more than fucking 30 minutes a day. I do not believe it, bro. This is terrible. Holy shit. I just got fucking flashbang like three times and double solo supered. Like, bro, this is crazy. In a span of like 30 seconds. Okay. I can't see my screen again. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I, I might as well just play with a fucking bed sheet over my eyes anyway. I thought he was going to jump off the map. I almost got played. What the fuck? Oh my days, bro. It just comes out of nowhere. Like, it looks bad, too. Like, even if you're trying to look at it, like, from your perspective, like, you don't even know where the fuck your gun is. Like, if I was aiming at head level and I got shot, it's not possible to get a headshot. Like, it is not possible. Like, holy fuck. What is... Bro? <gasps> when was there a grenade there? Dude, uh... I mean, Titan, playing Titan is fun and all. I love playing Titan. I love aping. But, dude, Juggernaut is so fucking annoying and so cringe. I, I just... It's so annoying. But it's either you're on Juggernaut or you have a Storm Grenade that chases people around, bro. Either way, it's fucking crazy. It's so crazy. That shit needs to get tuned down. The Storm Grenade needs to get tuned down a little bit, man. All right, we're doing our second game in Rumble. I'm going to be trying Lorenz instead of uh, Arbalest this time. Let's see if it feels any different. I like the way, uh, Empirical feels, man. Like, I just wait. If, dude, if Arbos was secondary and I could use this Empirical, oh my god, I'd be so fucking scary on the battlefield. They turn around so fast. Holy shit. I did get my, uh, my new controller in the mail today, so, uh, probably gonna be practicing with that a little bit. When Trials comes, oh, man. I don't know. I'll probably get shot on anyway, but... Oh my god. Please, man. You're crouching, holding angles with a fucking forerunner. Holy shit, man. Where are your fucking balls? Unfortunately, he is the better player. Did you see that primary shot? Man, that was scary. Hello? Why are you taking me to the fucking back rooms to 1v1 me, bro? Like, what are you... Why? You're full HP already. Let's join this ammo real quick. I don't know if I can kill him from this far away. I don't even want to try. Where's my kill? All right, all good, dude. This game just gets better and better by a second. I just like how Arbus like talks to me, you know? He's just kind of like beeping around. Why, dude? Why am I the one who- Thank God, bro. I'm about to say, if that guy turned and focused me when there's a guy right behind him, I would have lost it. I just really hope that soon, either with next season or with Lightfall, there's something, bro. Okay, yeah, we'll definitely, uh, definitely can't aim with our heads anymore, unfortunately. That's the one thing that's annoying about this game, bro. Even when you're sniping normally, if you don't fucking insta-shoot them before they shoot you once, you actually get flinched off the bullet. For other people, though. Or for me, at least. Not other people, you know, because, uh... I, I get shot through pulse rifle flinch. I can't even get shot for- Dude, I'm getting shot for 10 damage right now. And I'm getting fucking flinched. And he has the boots on to make him a better player. Very good. Oh, stop tickling my ass! Please! Bro, we're just zapping my butt cheeks. I don't know who to shoot. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They're both sticking at me anyway. God, dude, this game will make me actually go bald. Like, I will actually go bald before the age I was supposed to. Honestly, I don't even know if I'm going bald. Probably eventually, but like, shit. My dad still got his hair. My grandpa still got his hair. So I think I, you know, I might be chilling. I might not be bald. The plane you two might make me bald. Holy fuck, bro. Oh my god. Yeah, it's just not happening. I, it's not happening. You know what? I bet you Linears will still be in the top five. 
please. Please, man. Oh my god. I have to fight literally every single person in this Rumble game without them fighting each other. It's actually insane to me. Dude, this is not real. This is not real. I'm playing Destiny 2 a battle fucking royale, man. I'm the only one to get third party. This is so fucking sick. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's funny, that guy was still trying to trying to straight line me instead of pulling out a primary. Dude. Oh my fucking lord. Oh, I'm getting killed by fucking divinity. I thought that was cold heart. Why is this guy using divinity? What the he's got another wavelength. Let's go. I hope a fucking wolf doesn't go on my ass. I'm still getting shot in the fucking back. It doesn't end, bro. It really doesn't end. I'm just gonna go about my day. Very good. I'm glad that we saved a Nova Bomb for my super. I had the longest super in the game. I've always been saving that for fucking minutes. Holy shit, man. Get me out of this fucking game. Alright guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, please be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think about the linear changes in the comments down below. Overall, I think that the changes were actually pretty good and pretty noticeable. It is definitely a lot harder to shoot through flinch. However, for people that tend to not aim at the head and, you know, kind of just aim at people's balls or just aim at the floor, you will be rewarded for it because there is a flinch cap. You will be rewarded for having bad aim and not having good crosshair placement because there is a flinch cap. So if you can get used to aiming at someone's toenails and that every time you get shot, you get a headshot through flinch, then you're chilling. You're literally going to be the best player in the game. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you get shot once, twice, three times, four times. You're going to get shot or they're going to get killed straight through flinch and you're going to be the best. So if you plan on using a linear, start aiming at people's toes, their nuts, their legs, wherever the amount is, whatever the exact spot is. Get ready to start doing that, but I do think linears are still going to be in the top 10 for trials, but I do think snipers are going to be used a little bit more just because of the fact that you don't have to charge it up and you can just instantly shoot someone. And if they both have similar flinch resets or just similar flinches in general, snipers are probably going to be better, but sidearms are still going to be up top, dominating forerunner, drang, fucking empirical, whatever. So get ready for that in trials. That's going to be fun. But hopefully it's a good map. There's three choices. Hopefully a good one is picked. I just don't want to play fucking Pacifica. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to throw the comment of the day right now. If you guys want to enter for comment of the day, just leave a comment down below. Whatever is the most upvoted will be in tomorrow's video. But that is going to be it for me, everybody. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.